Emily here with another How to Draw Video and Art with Albright. Uh, this is going to be our premiere for our virtual classes. So if you don't know about our virtual classes, go to artwithalbright.com and check out our details and what classes are being offered. And you could be live with me on your computer screen and we can draw together every virtual class that we have available. So today, let's get started. Um, all you need is a pencil. My favorite is a mechanical. You don't need anything special. Um, just a nice sharp pencil. You know me, mechanical is my favorite because I don't like sharpening things. Um, anytime you like what we're doing, I want a thumbs up. If you were with me on my virtual class, I could see you on my screen. If I'm ever going too fast, you just hold up one finger and say, one minute, Miss Emily, let's slow down. And I would do that. But for you YouTubers, go ahead and push that pause button and then resume when you're ready. All right, today we're going to go uh, enjoy some more summertime adventure with our dragonfly. How many dragonflies did you see this summer? I think I saw a million, a million for real. I saw a million. So for our dragonfly, look what we're gonna do. We're gonna draw a nice circle. It's the size of a quarter. You can put your paper any way you want. Mine is portrait um, or vertical, depending on what generation you are, you know, the new things of these days. So I'm gonna start on the left side of my paper. If you haven't already, warm up a little. Warm up on a different piece of paper, warm up on the corner of your paper, somewhere where nobody's gonna see it. I'm going to do it on the back of my paper. I'm warming up my hand because any good athlete uh, would be warming up their muscles. So as we use our hand muscles, you need to be warming them up. So flip your paper over and guess what? Draw with me. You want to draw with me? Uh, we did this in one of my live virtual classes over the summer. So if you missed that, I'm very sorry because I don't know when I'm going to draw that one again. I might do that for you. It depends. You leave me a comment and I will draw that with you. How's that? Okay, so let's get started. We're going to draw real light. Draw real light. See, you can barely see what I'm drawing because I'm drawing so light. I draw light to begin with um, only because I don't want to be make this my permanent shape okay we're gonna build our character and then we're gonna go back and um, draw darker because when you draw dark you tend to cut into the paper okay so notice mine is a little bit bigger than my fingers the size of a quarter I'm going to go to the middle of my circle and guess what I'm gonna draw a nice oval let's put an oval in there let's make a nice big um, dragonfly eye does that make sense dragonfly eye that's hard to say all that all that jibber jabber together Can you guys get that that's having a hard time focusing so inside your oval go to the very front of that one and we're going to put a circle in there this is going to be the pupil notice i'm drawing darker now because when you draw dark you're cutting your paper and now i'm going to be stuck with this shape because i'm drawing um dark so when we draw, let's have the illusion of depth. Let's have some sunlight. So we're gonna put a nice reflective dot right in the eye, give that illusion of depth, the illusion there's a pretend source of light there. Now let's color that in, shade it all in, nice and smooth, nice and clean. So everybody have that so far, right, 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 good. Now I'm going to go right above the eye, like in the middle of that circle. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it and I'm going to go straight down. I just like made a different line on my, on my head. So take that line just straight down. We're going to use this circle to shape our head. Okay, we're going to build our character. So right on the other side of that line, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to go further back. So objects that are further away are going to be smaller. I think I heard a few of you say smaller. So I'm going to put an eye on the other side of the head. Okay, with that, with that I'm gonna take this line and I'm gonna follow that rounded uh, 
area at the end. See how I took just where that circle uh, edge was? I don't know if there's an edge on a circle, but the edge of that line, there you go. Okay, right there. So we have this eye on the back. What do we need to do? We need to add the pupil right at the front. So kind of give it a curve, give it a round shape. We're gonna add that little reflective dot right at the top because we're gonna to try to make them similar. Okay, we don't want them cross-eyed. Then we're gonna color that in, give it a nice full color right there, good. Got a back itch, ooh. Okay, and now let's take our, the front of our face. We're gonna follow this circle. Let's follow it around. Follow, 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 and when you come down, go up just a little, and then let's create a smile. You see how I did that? Except I totally have a bump right there. There we go. Pull it down and smile. Now remember, if you're in my class and I'm going too fast, you just hold up one finger. Say, whoa, slow down, Miss Emily. And Miss Emily will go off on a tangent on a story. Or we'll have joke time. Or uh, somebody's gonna show me some of their art. That would be fun. Show me some of your art. I'd love to see how creative you guys can be. Okay, so everybody's caught up. We're going to go underneath the mouth where our circle is. Do you see this? And we're going to just leave this area empty. We're going to come and we're going to create a lip. Okay, so grab it, grab that top, uh, top lip, pull it back down to that circle and just go back to the end and let's just close off this head. Go back up to your line. See how we did that? That was too easy. You guys are going, what? I just drew a dragonfly head and it is super cool. It is super cool. You guys, two thumbs up. You guys are cool. So let's add antennas. I'm just going to go ahead and finish off his head because um, I love giving our characters um, personality. It helps me build the rest of the character. So I just drew a line with a little tiny circle at the top. And then go on the other side of the head, a little further back, and then we're going to draw a shorter line, okay, because objects further away are smaller. There we go. You have it. I love this. This is so good. You guys are doing excellent. So let's draw the body. How are we going to draw the body? Let's go to the middle of this head, the back of it, and I'm going to draw a line out and see how far I want to go. I think I'm going to go just about that far. Can you see that? I'm going to go just a little ways out, and so I like that, so I'm going to draw a line down, and I'm going to pull this back, and I'm going to get it bigger as it goes further out, okay? Just kind of like a rectangle, but this area is a little smaller. So I like that shape, so let's keep that. So let's round it out, okay? And when I round it out, I'm drawing darker. There we go. That looks more like a dragonfly shape good. It's always good to use um, your shapes to help you create um, the bodies, the heads, anything that has to do with the animals that we're drawing. Now for the tail. Let's do the long tail. Ooh, you guys want to do a long tail? Let's do what we just did with the body. Let's go to the middle of the body. I'm going to drop down just a little bit and I'm going to go out and this time I'm going to curve. I'm just curve that down because dragonflies don't have really straight tails that I've seen. I've seen quite a few, especially driving. They come close to my windshield and I'm like, no, get back. I don't want to hurt you. So I'm, a, I'm not an aggressive driver. <laughs> don't ask my teenagers. They will tell you otherwise. So let's go to the bottom down here and let's just go parallel. Let's not touch. Okay. And pull it out. And when we get to the end, let's just make a backward letter C. Just put that backward letter C on there. There you have a tail. That's super easy, you guys. Come on. Tell me that was too easy. Now let's put wings on our dragonfly. He's so happy. I mean, look at that smile. I mean, how can you not be happy? Oh, here's, here's somebody who's grumpy. Grumpy, grumpy, grumpy. Don't be grumpy. Be happy. We're drawing together. So I'm going to look at the middle of my body. We're always thinking about positioning, okay? When you're drawing, think about placement. Where is this on the picture? Where is this on the creature? Um, and I'm going to take it and I'm going to pull it back 
let me get that on the screen. I'm going to take it and I'm going to go back this direction. Okay. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to go real light, go real light, because if we don't like it, guess what? Grab one of your erasers. Look at how many erasers I have. I have a lot of erasers. I even have a teeny tiny eraser because it's just fun. Why not? Okay. So grab your eraser if you don't like it and, and just fix it. There's no, there's no rule that says you can't fix what, what, what you what you want it to be. Make it, make it what you want it to be. Okay. So then I'm going to come right in the middle of this wing. Okay. We're going to go right in the middle of that wing and we're going to just duplicate what we did, but just lower down. So I'm going to do another wing and I'm going to pull it back and down. Okay. Cause they have two wings on one side and then we're going to look at our, I'm sorry, I'm going way fast. Let me slow down. If you need, you pause, okay? I'm doing fast because I know this is on YouTube. Uh, when we're in virtual class, I tend to go a lot slower so that I can help you all um, and we can work through this and not go so fast, okay? So if you're in class with me, then we take a lot more time to do this so that you don't get frustrated and you're not like slow down come on I can't do it that fast but on YouTube you guys can hit that pause button and I'll still be here when you unpause me okay now for the wings on the other side we're gonna go the opposite direction so think about where your placement is gonna be over here and objects that are further away are going to be let me hear you shout it out smaller good 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 so here we go we're gonna start on the opposite side so basically on his back and we're gonna pull that wing out the opposite direction and pull it back on okay very nice you guys are doing excellent excellent and you've already drawn the second wing I'm pretty sure because you're like hurry up this is taking too long now watch, I'm going to be going right through his head. So I stopped, picked up my pencil, and then continued on. So look at that. Nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. Super, super, super cool. Look, I'm going to say, yay. Hip, hip, hooray. That's so cool. It made my day. Okay. So we have the wings. We have the tail where we're missing legs. We need legs. Okay. How many legs do we have? Uh, this is an insect, so let's put six legs on. So I'm going to do a curve, a contour line, just contour line. That's it. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to erase right behind that because it's easier to erase now than um, after I add the thickness of the leg. Okay, so go and add another line, and we're going to add the letter C right at the bottom. Create a little foot, okay, just a teeny tiny foot. Then I'm going to go back and add that line that I just erased. Why? I think it's easier to erase than draw and then put it back than try to go. And even with my teeny tiny eraser, it's kind of hard to erase that. So now we need three more on this side. So I'm going to erase where I think those legs need to go. See how I just erased little, little blank spots right there. So put your contour line, curve that line, add the thickness. Right, and then go put the letter C on there. Letter C. Ta da! Then I'm going to go and fix that little line I erased, and you'd never know I drew a line there. Wow, that was pretty exciting. So let's go and add another contour line, contour line, letter C. And you guys are going to be drawing legs in your sleep now, right? Look at that. Perfect, perfect. This is such a cool little dude. Okay, so on the other side, I'm going to go the opposite direction. So we curved toward the right. Okay, this time we're going to go curve toward the left. And we're going to make it smaller. Go smaller. Okay, go smaller. Don't go bigger. Smaller. Why? Because it's further away. Okay, smaller. And then add the letter C again. Make sure your feet face forward on this creature. Think about the placement of your legs and then go ahead and do the last three. It's getting smaller and smaller as we get further back. Do you see how we did that? Nice. That is so cool. I love it when a plan comes together. Ah, it makes me happy. Okay, this one's fun. 
This one's fun. Have you tried that on my YouTube channel? That one's fun. Or even my cat, my lazy cat. Look at that. We do foster animals at my house. So I use my foster animals as my inspiration. Uh, we've never had a Eeyore, but one of one of the one of the puppies look like Eeyore, so you know that's that's how I drew that one. And when I'm babysitting my puppies, we watch movies, and I enjoy Bay Baymax. Baymax is a fun movie to watch. So try those; those are on on YouTube. Um, okay, so back to our back to our dragonfly. Let's add some detail. What do you say? So the tail. We want to make it look like it's a rounded object. In order to do that, you need to have a curved line. Okay, so let's start at the at the bottom and let's curve that line. Don't you dare go straight down. You curve that line. Curve, curve, curve. Make it curve. Don't go too too crazy on it, but give it that rounded shape by curving your line. Beautiful. Yes. Okay, love that, absolutely love that. Uh, in the wings, let's darken the edge of our wings. Okay, at the top, I'm just gonna do the top of the wing on both wings. I'm gonna darken just the top, give it some more depth to it. On this one, I'm gonna start at the very top and come down. That way I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so start at the top, come down, give it some depth. I know they have that iridescent, real pretty shimmery, uh, translucent. Oh, how many words can I use to describe the wings? They're just stunning. So I'm gonna use just some real light um, lines to pull out to give it some, some of those veins uh, that it has. I wish I could throw glitter on it and make it sparkle, but I'm just not into glitter, I guess. Okay, so draw your draw your lines out now it looks more like the real wings like when you're looking at them so i think we did a good job so let's add some shading okay we need to add some shading add some depth so my light source is going to be on the right so anything going toward the left uh, we're going to have to shade so i'm just going to take my pencil and lightly uh, go back and forth back and forth down the nose can you see that I went real light, real light. And then under his eye, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my pencil and just go back and forth, creating some depth. Okay, when you add shading, you add depth to your, your art. So don't forget that. A lot of young artists go, mm, I'm just going to stop now. And you're like, no, don't stop now. When you add that shading where there's overlapping or um, on the on the opposite side of the light source, you miss out on so much more um, fun and detail on your art when you just stop. So don't stop, don't stop, keep going. I went down the bottom part of my tail. If you really want to go for it, you can do each little segment of the tail, give them some more depth. Um, the fun stuff you can do on your on your little guy is you can go ahead and grab your stomp or your Q-tip, or you don't have any of those, grab your pinky. Your pinky will always work. Just don't um, get it all over yourself once you use your pinky. Um, I'm just taking the edge. I'm not using it up and down like this. I'm using it on the edge. And the, the more graphite you have on that, the better. So I'm just taking it and I'm just gently blending. It's just a blending tool. So go back and forth, go around objects. Um, if you don't have one of these definite investment, uh, best dollar and a half you'll ever spend, I think, because um, it'll really make your art look very professional. So here we have a dragonfly. What are we gonna do with the dragonfly? You can put them on your windshield you can put them on a flower. Um, here I put them on a leaf. So I'm going to show you that because I've run out of time. You can, you can put a leaf under him. Make sure to add some shading under there. Okay. Uh, I actually have a few leaves under there.
So be creative, enjoy your drawing time, and I hope I can see you actually on one of my virtual classes. If not, I'd love to see you return to my YouTube videos. Um, and let me know in the comments below what you'd like to draw. So I hope you have a great day and enjoy life. Bye guys. Get that all in there. Um, beautiful. I forget that you guys can see me in my recording studio. So yay. I like the little fun tech stuff going in the back. My daughter picked that one out, so that one's kind of cool. Well, welcome to another Learn to Draw video with Art with Albright. I'm Emily. Okay, I don't like that one. Let's start it. Is my mouth is not Let's let it catch up. Okay, Grace, give me one second. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Don't you dare use this tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Ah! Yeah, it's not with me yet. Okay. Okay, we'll just go for it. Three, two, one. Let's just do it. 